Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all well and having a great day so far. Today's video is a pack with me because tomorrow morning I'm going to be flying out to Florida for two whole weeks and I'm so excited to go. I can't remember the last time I had two weeks off work to go away and I'm just looking forward to it so much. So if you'd like to see everything that I'm going to be taking on my trip with me, grab yourself a drink, subscribe if you haven't already and keep on watching. I'm going on holiday with my husband and it's going to be so nice to spend some time together. We're going to be staying in Orlando for 10 days and while we're there we're going to visit all of the Disney and Universal parks and then later on we'll move to Miami um, and stay there for four days. That part of the trip I'm hoping is going to be a lot more relaxing. Maybe we can spend some time by the pool, go to the beach um, and if I'm lucky I might be able to squeeze in a bit of sightseeing around the city as well. So as I said I'm looking forward to it so so much. When it comes to packing I'm 100% a list person so everything that I want to take I've written down in here and as I add things to the case I can tick it off my list and I know that I've got everything with me. The suitcase that I'm going to be taking is this one here from Ted Baker and this one is in the large size. I did pick up these cute little luggage tags from Amazon. They came in a set of two and I thought they were so cute for the trip. I've got the mini one and so has got the Mickey. If I am mentioning any products, if I can find the links I will put them below because I know you guys like to check out some of the stuff afterwards. I'm using packing cubes for the first time and I'm hoping these are going to keep my things nice and organised and also prevent stuff from moving around too much in, inside the suitcase. Um, the grey ones are from Amazon, I've got those in a set fairly recently um, and the pink ones are from Antler. I've had these for about three years but because of the pandemic I've not travelled so you know they've just been stuck in the wardrobe. Um, but today is the day and hopefully they're as good as everybody says they are. I'm going to lay my suitcase just down on the carpet here. Um, I think it's probably going to be easier to try and collate all of my toiletries together, hair products together, makeup, um, clothes, shoes and accessories, pack them into packing cubes or other zip up bags that I've got and then maybe try and rearrange them in the suitcase. I'm hoping that I'm not going to be overweight. I think that I get 25 kilograms of hold luggage, um, but looking at what I've got here, there does seem to be a lot of stuff. Um, well, if I'm a bit over, then maybe I might be able to sneak some of my things into size luggage. Um, I don't think that he'll need to take as much stuff as me, um, but yeah, we'll see. So I'm starting with toiletries and I'm going to try and fit as much as possible into this My Kitco bag. Um, I know that My Kitco are traditionally a makeup artist brand, um, but if you think about it, makeup artists travel a lot and they also need to keep their stuff really organised. So My Kitco do some fabulous bags. I really like the size of this one and I also like the fact that it's plastic so if anything does leak or spill in here, you can wipe it clean very easily. Arguably the most important product for me to pack and that's a really good SPF. I do not tan in the slightest. I basically go outside and within five minutes I've set on fire. Um, so I always wear Factor 50. This one is the Garnier Ambre Solaire Sensitive Advanced Invisible Protection Mist. And I must say that I 100% prefer a mist to a cream. I think some of the sun creams are so heavy, sticky, greasy, they're just really uncomfortable to wear on the skin. Um, but I do get on much better with this and as I said, it's got good protection. I also picked up this Over Makeup Super UV Spray from Ambre Solaire. This is Factor 50 as well. Um, and I thought this would be good for me because I do want to wear a bit of makeup around the parks. Um, it just makes me feel a bit more confident when I'm taking photos, etc. Um, but I still want to be protected from the sun. My skin's also very sensitive, so I'm hoping because this is a specialist product for um, the face that this will be a bit gentler to the skin as well. My hair can get quite dry in the heat, so for shampoo and conditioner I picked up the Aussie Miracle Moisture. 
And as we're going on holiday, I do want to feel a little bit pampered, especially after a long day in the park. So I treated myself to the bum bum cream and also the shower cream as well. I absolutely love the scent of these and they're really nice products. They're probably a little bit more expensive than what I would usually pay. Um, but as I said, it is a holiday, so it's a bit of a treat. And I'm also taking the Foot Fetish Cream. This is from the same range. Um, I've had this for a few months, so it's not a new product, but I thought as I'm gonna be walking all day in the parks, um, I probably need to treat my feet quite kindly. Um, so I think this is a good thing to put in the case. Not that we intentionally try and get burnt, but if you do, um, a really good product to have with you is this Banana Boat Aloe Vera Gel. Um, pop this in the fridge and when it's cold it's really soothing on the skin. Um, so I always take this with me when I go away. And then I've got a Venus razor with four blades. Um, I'm also gonna take some jungle formula with me. Um, this is great stuff, it really does keep the mosquitoes away. Um, so if you're going to a hotter climate, um, I would always recommend you take this with you. And I think I can also squeeze a tube of toothpaste in this bag as well. And I could probably get a few more bits and pieces in here. So I'm going to pack the Skin Food. This is a great little product. It's a really intensive moisturiser. So if you do get patches of dry skin, maybe on your elbows or on your knees, this is really, really good. And for my daily deodorants, I'm going to take this Roll-On. This is the Nivea Pearl and Beauty. I really like this deodorant a lot. Um, but I do want to take um, some of the mini deodorants. This is, um, again, the Nivea Pearl and Beauty, but this is the travel size spray. This is going to be a really nice um, size to fit in my park bag. And it's also lightweight because it's an aerosol. Um, I do have paranoia about smelling bad. Um, so, you know, with it being very hot in Florida and quite humid, um, I do want to make sure that I've got a deodorant in my bag as well, just in case. So I've got two of those and I'm going to pop them in here as well. So those are all those things packed now. And as you can see, it's pretty tightly compact. Um, I would say this is all of my shower and body products. Um, and I'm gonna move next on to skincare. This little pouch is just from the Amazon packing cube set that I showed you earlier, but it looks like a fair enough size and I should be able to fit um, all of my skincare in here. Um, starting with the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is like a ride or die product for me. Um, I wear double wear foundation a lot and nothing takes off that makeup like this stuff. Um, goes with me everywhere. I then like to do um, a second cleanse uh, with this Kate Somerville uh, goat milk cleanser. Really nice gentle cleanser and then I use this to cleanse my face in the morning as well. Travel Size Pixie Glow Tonic Toner, Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, and this is in the 50ml size. I love this moisturiser. Um, I use the 125ml pot at home, but this size is just so much more convenient for travel, and I got 20% off um, at Boots, so it was definitely worth it for the trip. Travel Size Bioderma Marcella Water, I've got five face halos and these are just really good to take your makeup off. I can use um, one side for the evening and one side for the morning. Um, and I can also get these washed if I need to. Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair um, Eye Cream. And I'm also going to pop in some perfume into my um, cosmetic bag as well. This is the Jo Malone Honeysuckle and Davina. Divana, not really sure how you uh, pronounce that, um, but this fragrance is beautiful. It's one of my very favourites. And that skincare all packed up now. Um, I am also going to take a pack of cotton wool pads and a body buffer, but I don't think these need to be in a special bag. They can just uh, be chucked in the case. I don't mind if they're loose. I've just had to pop the light on because it is starting to get a little bit dark outside now. Hopefully it still looks all right on camera. Um, but getting back to the packing and in this Charlotte Tilbury pouch, I've just got some sanitary products. So pads and tampons, I like to have them with me just in case I need them. 
I've also got this mini first aid kit from Boots. Um, so there's plasters, uh, little bandages, antiseptic wipes in here. Um, and I've also added in some Compede blister plasters. I thought that would be, you know, good to have with me in case we get some blisters from all the walking in the theme parks. And I also like to take a small amount of medicine with me as well. So I've got some ibuprofen, um, paracetamol, um, some heartburn and reflux tablets and also some Imodium. Um, I know that the US are going to have pharmacies available and you'll be able to get all of this stuff there. Um, but for me sometimes, if you don't feel very well, you want these things on hand and you don't want to necessarily go hunting for it. Um, but I take some of these in my hand luggage as well, just in case you know you need them when you're on the plane. And the last thing I'm taking in that sort of category is this small pot of Sudocreme. Um, again, I just think it's a useful product to have on hand, so this is more a just-in-case item. Moving on to hair products and hair tools, I'm taking my GHD travel hair dryer. Um, my mum bought me this for Christmas and it was a really useful gift. Um, but you do get like um, a small sized hair dryer, but it is pretty powerful to be honest and it just collapses. So it's that little bit more convenient and space saving to pack. Um, but yeah, that's coming with me. I'm also taking my GHD straighteners um, and my GHD curling tongs as well. Um, I'm not going to put these in a special bag as such, I'm just going to slot them in between some uh, packing cubes that have got clothes in, um, just to give them a bit more padding and protection around them um, and hopefully that will keep them safe while they're in transit. I've got an Olaplex number no. 6 bond smoother and there is a little bit just left in the bottom there um, but more than enough um, for what I'll need in the next two weeks so I'm just going to try and slot that in one of my cosmetics bags. I've got my hairbrush and I've also got a little pouch with hair products in here so I've got a um, living proof dry shampoo in a travel size, a travel size L'Oreal El Net hairspray, um, a travel size whey hair oil um, and then on the other side I've got um, a silk hair bobble for when I want to tie my hair up at night, some bobbles, some grips and some clear little elastics as well. So this is quite you know a compact little pouch with all my hair stuff in. So for makeup, um, the first thing that I'm taking is this brush tube from MAC. It goes everywhere with me when I travel. Um, you can just get all of your brushes inside there and it keeps them nice and protected. It is like a fairly hard case. Um, but you can also um, take the two uh, you know, bits apart and when you get to your hotel, keep your clean brushes in the one side and dirty brushes in the other part. I've just grabbed a selection of face and eye brushes from my makeup brush collection. Um, there's more than enough here to uh, see me through the next two weeks. And I'm also going to pop into the brush holder a toothbrush. Now, you guys probably thought that I forgot my toothbrush, didn't you? But <laughs> um, I've just got two new ones here. So one for me, one for my husband. He can pop his in his luggage. Um, and I'm just going to slot mine in, in with my makeup brushes um, and I know that it's not going to get dirty or get anything on it. And the makeup bag I'm taking is this really cute mini mouse one from Spectrum Cosmetics. If it's still available I will link it below but I won't go through all of the products individually because that could be a video all on its own. Um, but there's essentially two compartments, there's a shallower compartment at the top so I've got things like um, lip pencils, eyeliners, mascaras, brow products. Um, a couple of lip glosses in here um, and then in this deeper section at the bottom I've got my base makeup so uh, foundations, bronzers, blushes um, and you know I've tried to give myself a few options uh, for the colourful items so a couple of blush options maybe th two or three lipsticks, a couple of lip glosses etc. This is still a lot of makeup for you know most people, and I know that um, a lot of people this is their you know normal makeup bag with their whole collection in. Um, but for a makeup lover by myself, you know I do feel quite proud that I've managed to uh, work it down to um, this amount because um, I just like I just like having lots of options, and I always think I need something when in reality I don't. You know this is more than enough makeup for any person. 
And I'm also taking six sets of false eyelashes. Um, these are the Eyelaw three quarter length um, 008 uh, Light and Wispies. I love these, these are my favourites. Now, in reality, I don't know whether I'm gonna be bothered to put false eyelashes on, um, but as we've got a couple of restaurant uh, reservations and you know we might be having a couple of date nights, um, I did want to take them as an option just in case I want to you know, feel like I've made a bit more of an effort. And before we move on to like clothes, shoes and accessories, I've got a few ad hoc items. So um, this is just a pack of travel adapters that I got from Amazon. I think there was five, five in here. Um, because I've got a lot of filming equipment and also, you know, phones, um, AirPods, that type of thing, we do need quite a lot of um, charging points in the room. So I have bought five just in case. Um, and I'm also taking uh, an extension lead. I did pick up some disposable ponchos from Amazon. This is a pack of five and I think it was about a tenner. Um, I've not been to Florida for a really long time. I think I was about 14 when I last went. Um, and I do remember that their tropical storms are something to be seen. So if I can take one of these in my park bag, then it might help to keep me a bit dry if a storm does happen. Um, but they're certainly gonna be much cheaper than buying a poncho in Universal or Disney. And the last random item I'm taking is a suitcase scale. Obviously, I'm going to be uh, weighing my bag before I go tomorrow, but um, you know, we're gonna buy things when we're over there. Obviously, we're gonna use up some of the toiletries, etc. Um, but it just gives me a bit of peace of mind that I can check that we're you know within the weight limit before we get to the airport. For underwear, I'm taking five bras with me. So I've got um, two t-shirt bras, one in black, one in white. Um, these are also t-shirt bras, but they don't have the underwiring, so they're probably a little bit more comfortable. Um, and that's just in a black and a nude. And then I'm also taking this multi-way uh, bra, so I can cross the straps over, I can wear it as a strapless bra as well. Um, and that's in this nude color. If I need to send any of my um, clothes to be laundered while I'm there, then I'll do that. I'm not going to worry about taking um, loads and loads of bras with me. Um, you know, I'm sure those facilities will be available at the hotel. If they're not, if they're not, then I'll just get some detergent from uh, Walmart and I'll hand wash them in the sink and leave them to dry. So all of my pants are already packed in here. I've just got a mixture of briefs and thongs in black and nude. Um, some are normal, some have got a bit of shapewear built into them. And I also picked up some of the M&S anti-chafe shorts based on Brogan's recommendation um, when I watched her pack with me video. So I have four pairs of these in black, four pairs in nude. Um, I am a plus size lady, so I just want to be comfortable when I'm walking around the parks. Um, hopefully this is going to do that for me because I do like to wear, you know, little tea dresses and stuff. If it's windy and my dress blows up or when I'm trying to get in and out of rides, if I've got little cycling shorts on underneath, I'm just going to feel that little bit more covered up and I'm not going to worry about it or feel embarrassed. And I also picked up two packs of white trainer socks from M&S, so there's 10 pairs here. Um, I will also take some black trainer socks with me because I think they will look better with my Vans, these will look better with my Air Force Ones. I'm just going to take two swimming costumes with me in case we go to a water park when we're in Orlando um, and then just a few days by the pool when we're in Miami. So I've got um, this black swimsuit from M&S um, and also this one. Um, it's exactly the same swimsuit, it came in a pack of two, um, it just has like a little floral pattern on it. Because most of my time is going to be spent in parks, I'm probably going to be wearing shorts and a t-shirt the majority of the time, so I'm taking seven pairs of shorts with me. Um, I've got these leopard ones from River Island and I thought these would be really cute for Animal Kingdom. Um, these are Abercrombie and Fitch, sort of like a khaki colour, they're um, linen fabric, so again really comfortable and good for the parks. Um, the next few are also from Abercrombie and Fitch, um, so they're all like linen fabric, elasticated waist, um, really comfortable, so I've got a white linen pair one that has sort of like a floral design to it um i'd say it's like an off-white with um floral pattern 
some black linen shorts again exactly the same um style and then i'm also taking two pairs of denim shorts so these two are from mint velvet um these are in the sort of lighter wash denim with the little turn up and i've also got the same pair um but in the blue denim and these are just slightly distressed as well vests and t-shirts i've got two white vest tops um two black vest tops um camo t-shirt just um a plain t-shirt in white um this sort of cornflower blue color and black um those are all river island and then i've got three band t-shirts as well so i've got my um Guns N' Roses, um, pink metallic t-shirt and grey Nirvana t-shirt and all of those are really well loved by me. I also want to take a couple of um, nicer tops so I have this uh, cotton leopard print shirt, this sort of green and white one shoulder top, I think that will look lovely with some shorts or some linen trousers. And then I've also got um, this really nice printed top as well. I have the trou the wide leg trousers that match this. It's in the same fabric. Um, and when you wear them both together, it looks like a jumpsuit, um, which I like because you get the sort of jumpsuit style. Um, but when you need the loo, you don't have to sort of start stripping off. You can just, you know, go to the toilet normally. Um, but that's a really nice one. And this is from Mint Velvet. I have a few nicer dresses, so this is um, a blue and white shirt style dress, um, it's quite loose and floaty, it's got sort of like a little peplum skirt, um, that's a mint velvet one. I have this sort of uh, geometric wrap dress from River Island, so that just wraps over, but I think that might be nice for, you know, going out for drinks when we're in Miami, maybe we might go out um, for dinner somewhere. We've got a nice lunch reservation a bit later in the holiday at a really nice restaurant. So I wanted to take something a little bit more dressy. Um, this jumpsuit's from River Island and it's really lovely. It looks like a maxi dress when it's on. Um, it has long floaty sleeves and also like, you know, wide leg, but also this gorgeous embellishment on the top. So I think this with a pair of wedges would look really nice. These are the trousers that match the top that I showed you earlier. So you can wear them separately or together to look like a jumpsuit. I've also got a couple of nice off the shoulder tops. Um, this is a linen one with a bit of embroidery up the sleeve. That's from Mint Velvet. And also this sort of floaty tie dye one. Um, it's you know green sort of phasing into a darker blue. But that's also a nice top to wear probably in Miami as well. This is another shirt and trouser outfit, so there are wide leg trousers um, with a matching shirt and again these can be worn separately or together to look like a jumpsuit um, but again if we go sightseeing um, around Miami during the day I think this is going to look um, you know put together but also cool, keep me cool as well. I have got a couple of beach cover-ups um, to wear with my swimming costume. So this is a nice uh, blue and white one from Mint Velvet. It's got a really nice design down the back. Um, so like that one a lot. And this one is from River Island. I just love the print on this one. It's a butterfly print fabric and it's got this really nice black um, detail on the sleeve. Um, but yeah, this will look nice round by the pool. I can just chuck it on over my swimsuit. I did pick up a couple of pairs of new pyjamas for my holiday just because I needed something a bit cooler for the hot weather. So I went for a short and cami set. Um, these are all from Marks and Spencers, but these ones are from a concession called Cyber Jammies or Cyber Jammies. Um, but I really liked the print on here. So um, you have little shorts and also um, a little cami top. And these next ones are from um, an MS range called Daydream. So cotton shorts with a really beautiful print on there. I love this fabric. 
and the matching top. And from this range as well, I did also um, get a lightweight robe. Um, so again, really beautiful fabric, but this cotton's so light and airy and it's super, super soft, but I love the print on these um, pajamas and robe. I like to have a lightweight robe when I'm on holiday because when you're doing your hair and putting your makeup on, um, I just like to have something, you know, quick that I can throw on. For shoes, I'm taking some black Havianas some flat um, tan leather sandals. These ones were from And Other Stories. Some white Crocs and my much loved pair of Vans. I've probably had these for about eight years. So I know that they're, you know, well broken in. They're not gonna rub me. If they get wrecked um, on water rides or whatever, they don't owe me anything. I could probably get a fresh pair when I get back home. Um, and I'm also traveling in my white Nike Air Force ones. So, you know, I can wear those uh, with different outfits as well. And last but not least, um, I've got a second option for mini years, although I'm sure that I'll pick up a pair or two while I'm out there as well. So guys, that's everything I'm taking to Florida with me in my hold luggage. I will do a separate video to show you what I'm taking in my carry-on and also uh, show you my travel day outfit. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos from me and the Florida vlogs, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell before you go so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Um, I'll see you on my next one. Take care.